everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play Spyro from the Reignited Trilogy. Oh boy. Well, oh. 15 hours, huh? And I ain't even touched the third game. Alright, let's just go ahead and get started with the opening scene, and I'll go over how I'm going to handle this Let's Play after the scene. Okay, rolling. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! I like the fact that they got that showing through a TV because in the original it wasn't like that. It's pretty awesome. Uh, okay, go into it after we look around. Look how beautiful this remake is. Wonderful. All right, let's go free the first dragon first. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so basically how I'm going to handle this uh, Let's Play is that I'm going to do all levels in their own video, except for the home uh, levels and the flight levels. Um because the flight levels are very simple and the home levels aren't very easy unless of course there's something additional that i have to do in another world but i don't think that's the case in this particular game i will be 120 percenting the game in the case that i will be freeing all the dragons and getting all the gems i'm not doing skill points skill points were added at least in the first game uh in the reunited trilogy uh if it's, I mean, I can point it out. Uh, one of them I definitely will be able to get because you have to glide over to a tricky platform and it's level, uh, it's labeled in different levels. Like I said, I'm not going to do it. It's not required for 120%. And if you're doing a trophy run, it's not required for uh, any of the trophies, which is good. So because it makes it to where skill level skill points are actually optional. Uh, whereas games like uh, from the top of my head, that makes it, you, you gotta kinda go after the skill points uh, is Ratchet and Clank. That's a game that has skill points and you have to go through it uh, in order to get the trophies for it. Some of the trophies for it. And ironically, it's uh, by the, made by the same people, Insomniac Games. Come here. Now there are, of course, massive uh, differences. Well, not too many differences in between the original and the remake. Uh, it's the, the amount of treasure and dragons haven't changed, uh, nor does the gameplay, except for, you know, you have the uh, right analog stick to move the camera. So that's something different. Uh, cause I don't think you can do that. I think you had to, when Spyro 1 came out, I believe he had to rely on L2 and R2, but 
L2 snaps the camera back and R2 is your flame attack. But you can also use circle as your flame, which is what I'll be using because you know, it's, it's original. You can also swap between the original music or the reignited music, which I thought it was pretty cool. Also, I think it's a map on this one. Yeah, the map. Uh, I won't be playing with the map because I mean, the, the worlds aren't massive. It's not DK64 massive. So the, the worlds are pretty easy to navigate. Plus I played Spyro so much as a kid that I pretty much got most of all these maps memorized in my head. Spyro, you have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. The designs of these dragons really make me want to look at later titles uh, in Spyro. I have looked at, ooh, what was it called? The one where he didn't know that he was a dragon. I can't think of it right now, but I believe it was on the PS3 for, for sure. It's kind of rare, kind of, sort of. It's pretty expensive. I think it go anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks on Amazon. So, I think it's called The New Beginning? No, no, no. It was, a, it was another Spyro game that I played on that was on the PS2. Because I remember going over my best friend's house. And I think that's the one that I was talking about. He was raised by uh, Sparks and his family. And I think he was abandoned or something like that. I don't remember because I never completed the game. I only played it for that one day at my best friend's house. So I don't quite remember. But people in the comments, unite and tell me which one I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. But I think it was on like GameCube and Xbox. But I played the PS2 version because that's the one that she had. So... I'm drawing a blank as far as which one is called, but you guys know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna go after you. Get you on up out of there. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. <laughs> it's so hilarious and so refreshing because even though that there's different voice actors like for instance Spyro is voiced by Tom Kenny who is the voice of Spongebob awesome by the way and uh freaking the the exact lines that the dragons say every time you free them from the original are the exact lines in this one I, I think it's just so refreshing they really went all out to you know make this game true to a real you know a real remake and i'm appreciative for it cool flash do that again the artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth but you are not yet ready spyro first you must complete one of the other artisan lands okay and every time you complete something or 100% the level or get all the gems and everything, the bottom middle uh, of the section of the screen will tell you. Uh, every time the, the, there are bosses in every world, so that is the level to get to the boss. Whenever you enter a level, it will say now entering as Stonehill, for instance. But when you enter a boss, it will say confronting insert boss name. In this case, the Artisan World's boss name is Toasty, which was in that dragon's head. But we can't get to it right now because we have to uh, complete a few levels. I'm not sure exactly how, how much. Usually, I always do the bosses last because it's a boss. Now, I've gotten everything in the Artisan World. Uh, world so, I'm going to go ahead and complete Sunny Flight, which is a flighty level where you have to get collectibles. And then, after I complete this, then I will go ahead and end the video and then... For let's play sake, you know, in case someone is looking for something specific in a specific level, every level will be in its own video. So that's how I'm gonna do it. Oh joy. Now there is a thing that you can do, which I'm gonna show you right quick. Uh, 
Oh, I, I screwed up. But if you're like going after the trophies or whatever, one of the trophies is that you got to do a loop like I'm ter horribly demonstrating. It's not going to pop up as a trophy because I've already platinum the game. But you have to do that loop inside the arch in order to get it. If you're like me, you were probably doing a loop in one of the collectibles. Uh, <laughs> one of the collecting uh, arches that you uh, do. <laughs> Cause that's what I did, but it meant an actual arch. I thought it was talking about those arches over there to the left, the one you have to collect. <laughs> Silly me. Now, personally, I don't know if there's a real way to do this, to be honest. <laughs> I really don't. I do know later on, I don't think the skill points involve the flight levels, which I'm grateful for. But if you're going after a, if you're a skill point hunter, uh, I think the sequel make you do the flights under a certain time frame. And I am not having great luck with these planes. Usually I go after the arches and then uh, the chest last because there are chests in here. Where's the last? Oh God. Oh, there you go. I'm not going to make it. Uh, one thing I, the, the, ah, oh, shoot. One thing the uh, remake does that I really can't stand is that every time you complete a collectible with Spyro, he always have the urge to do a twirl and it really just throws me off. And I'm surprised that I was able to make that turn to be honest. <laughs> but uh, it's just a little nitpick because sometimes it can throw me off. Like that, I didn't care about that time because I was against a wall, but, oh, I missed. But sometimes when you're in like, in the middle of collecting stuff and you're on your way to collect the next collectible, it, you, that spin can really throw you off. Like I said, it's a Nick pick, but it, it's not too terrible. Now what is terrible is that I can't find this last plane. Oh, there we go. You guys gotta forgive me. I can't hear worth crap because the TV is literally on one. Bioshock is a little bit quieter when I'm not shooting stuff, but like the freaking music is kind of kind of loud in this game, which I love the music, but I don't want it to echo. So yeah, I don't know. I am screwing this up. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and just you know. Oh God. Well, I gotta go back out anyway, so. Like this right here, if I, once I collect all these chests and he does his little spin or whatever, it's really gonna throw me off. Okay, I was able to do it just fine. Oh boy, I just need four arches. Make that three arches. Okay, I can do this. Because it gives me three seconds every time I go through it. I know I just did that all wrong, probably, but I'm not good at the fight levels. <laughs> I'm really not, but there we go. And you got to do it all in one in order to get all the treasure. And yes, it's part of 100%. And it took me damn near two minutes to do that. <laughs> but I, fair warning, I'm terrible at the flight levels. I'll get it eventually, but I'm terrible at it. <laughs> But that's going to be it for today's video. And in the next video, uh, I guess we can go to Stone Hill. I believe that's the first level that's on the thing right here. I believe. I believe that's the level right here. Yep, Stone Hill. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So if you'd like to see more Let's Plays or Weekend Walkthroughs from the channel, please be sure to click on the links in the description below. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome day.